This is not a sponsored video. I used the top six website builders and interviewed industry experts for this brutally honest comparison that scores them out of 10 for three main factors. And no one talks about this. Two bonus factors that are super important. I'll give you my verdict about which one is the best value for money. WordPress is like a custom sports car that you can modify into something unique and powerful or make it a reliable daily driver. But it requires some effort and maintenance. Before I get into this, one disclaimer. There's two platforms called WordPress, WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Both built by the same founder, WordPress.com is a managed platform like Wix that handles everything but limits customization and monetization. WordPress.org is the most popular website builder used by half the world. It's an open source platform that's free and gives you complete control over your website. No, you don't need coding knowledge to make the most of it because it has the biggest free library of plugins and templates that do everything for you. Okay, let's check out WordPress.org now. You'll get the WordPress dashboard and you can use the left navigation bar to control your site, like adding posts, adding pages, etc. By going into appearance and then themes, you can then select whatever template you want on your site and install it. Click here to see your live site. If you want to customize this design further, you can just click here and start editing. This is their in-house site editor called Gutenberg, which is a block editor. So you can edit things one block at a time like this. And if you don't like it, just go back, then go to plugins, add a new plugin, and this is their plugin library. Just search for a free plugin called Elementor and install it. Now you can choose to edit your site using a drag and drop interface, get extra widgets and many other features. Another cool thing that you can do only on WordPress is to max out your site speed to stop a loading sign from driving away your customers. Install this free plugin called Airlift, add your site URL and then with one click, your entire site gets optimized and your Google page speed score will be really high, meaning customers can instantly open and navigate your website. Overall, for ease of use, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 because there's a slight learning curve, but you can do so many things here that you just can't with other platforms. For design features, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 because you can literally get any design or feature you want, but yeah, it takes a little effort. Now, let me give you some cons of this platform. Unlike Wix and other paid platforms, you'll have to spend about 30 minutes every week to do regular updates, backups, and security for your website. Because all those third-party themes and plugins that you're using have a risk. Sometimes hackers can find vulnerabilities in their code and hack many websites using those plugins. I'm gonna bust one big myth right now. Even if you get just 50 visitors a month, your site will be hacked eventually because hackers regularly release swarms of automated bots to take control of as many sites as possible for different illegal purposes. Besides hacking, your plugin's code can sometimes clash with other plugins on your site and cause errors. Don't worry, you can protect your site with a good backup plugin that has these three features and a good security plugin that has these three features. There's many popular security and backup plugins, but Malcare is the most affordable and reliable one that handles everything. Full disclosure, our team's built it, so instead of selling it to you, here's a table showing why it's the best choice. Coming back for website maintenance and security, we'll give WordPress a 7 because it does take more effort and has more risk than other platforms. In terms of customer support, you can't compare WordPress to Wix or the other platforms. WordPress is like a frame in which you assemble your dream website using external parts like hosting, themes, plugins, etc. And all of them have their own customer support, so you're basically covered. It also has the largest number of tutorials, blogs, and online communities. So I'll give WordPress an 8 out of 10 for support. Now the juicy part. Let's discuss cost. WordPress itself is free, but you will have to pay for the following third-party services. So, for cost, WordPress gets a 9.5 out of 10, with 0.5 deducted because this modular method of paying for each plugin can add up in cost. So, tallying the score, WordPress gets a total of 42, which is an A grade. All right, GoDaddy is known for their domain and hosting services. GoDaddy's website builder is like a hatchback compact car, designed for simplicity and ease for beginners who just want the basics. When you sign up, you asked a few questions about the type of site that you want to create. It also has over 300 templates categorized by industry and optimized for mobile. To be honest, compared to Wix and WordPress, these templates are quite basic. After you select a template, you can modify it using the website builder, which breaks up the site into different blocks like this. You can add a new block and then modify it. What's the downside? There's not a lot of customization here because you're limited to their pre-made blocks, which aren't that many and adding anything other than this can be quite uh, technical. So, for ease of use, we'll give it an 8 out of 10, but for design features, 
5 out of 10. Here, you can see the customer support options. There's 24-7 phone support and live chat, which is pretty good. But in my experience and most online reviews, sometimes you get quick responses and sometimes you get ghosted. So I'd give it a 6 out of 10 for customer support. Now, GoDaddy manages a lot of the technical stuff for you like hosting, security, backups and all that. But every year, there are many reports of GoDaddy servers going offline. So there's a chance that your site could go down or be lost for one reason or another. So it gets a 5 out of 10 for maintenance and security. Okay, let's talk about money. GoDaddy offers a free one month trial, but after that, you're looking at one of four plans ranging from $10 a month to $30 a month. These two are for e-commerce sites and not worth it because Shopify gives you better features at a fairer price. Now, out of these three other plans, the website features might look cool to a beginner like guidance and analytics to find out how good your website is compared to your competitors or sending out emails and managing your social media from here. But, and there's a big but, these plans might only be good for absolute beginners because as soon as you become even a little bit serious about your site, you'll migrate to any of these other platforms that give you better performing sites. So cost gets a score of 5 out of 10 for GoDaddy. Overall, GoDaddy scores a C. Wix is like a reliable SUV, adaptable to a wide range of needs and user-friendly enough for everyday use. But if you want agility and speed, meaning flexible custom designs and high performance, Wix can be quite limiting. After signing up, it asks questions and then their AI starts designing your website for you which is fine if you want a basic site because the customization options are quite limited, meaning you can't make many changes here. If you go into its normal website builder, you can then pick from over 500 templates, which aren't as well designed as Squarespace or as many as WordPress, but they'll get the job done. They're categorized by industry and all optimized for mobile. After you pick a template, you can use their website editor, which has a drag and drop interface that's quite easy to use. Another nice feature is that there are help buttons scattered throughout the builder. So if you're ever stuck on something, help is just a click away. It also has an app store to customize website appearance and functionality. But one catch is that there are limited apps and good apps are often paid and not free like WordPress. One quick warning, once you've picked a particular template, you can't make major design changes to it. Instead, you'll have to rebuild your site which is a big limitation in the long run. So overall, for ease of use, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. And for design, it gets a 7 out of 10. The help center has many articles and tutorials, but there's no live chat, only email and callback support. They are responsive, but obviously email takes time and calling takes effort. So I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Like GoDaddy and Squarespace, Wix handles the hosting, security and backups for you, but it has a site history feature, which is really cool. It's like a time machine. So if you've made any change before that you now regret, you can just revert your site back to how it was before the change. The only other platform that has this is WordPress, but it's not built in. You can get it with the activity log feature in Blog World. Overall, for website maintenance and security, I'd give Wix a 9 out of 10. Wix plans start at about $16 per month, but that has very little storage. So $27 per month is what we'll start with. And you can see there's no standout features here worth discussing. Their e-commerce plans start at $27 per year and they have all the basic e-commerce features here and many additional features that are very helpful. This totally blows away Squarespace's e-commerce features and is a good contender for WordPress and Shopify. Overall, as a website builder, I think Wix's price is good for the e-commerce features, but for the regular platform, I don't see much value of paying this amount when you can get better designs and more features over at WordPress for free. So, I'd give it a 7 for cost. Overall, Wix's total score is B+, just a little behind WordPress. Squarespace is like a luxury sedan, prioritizing aesthetics and design, but not the most powerful or versatile platform. When you sign up for Squarespace, you have to choose from one of their well-designed, modern templates that aesthetically look really good on any device. Then you can edit it by using their website builder, which is a point-and-click system. You can choose a section of your page, click it, and then you can edit the contents like this. They have other good design features like integrated image editor, custom CSS, and many more. Squarespace gets a 7 out of 10 for ease of use. For design features, we'll score it an 8 out of 10 because of its stylish templates. And we've deducted two points because you do get restricted by their templates in a few different ways. Here's their help center. They have 24-7 email support, but live chat is only available during weekdays. I got a decent response and most online reviews say the customer support is good, so customer support gets an 8 out of 10. Like Wix, Squarespace handles most of the technical stuff for you, 
Since it's a restricted platform that doesn't let us use third-party plugins or modify the site code, the security threats are also very low. So overall, for website maintenance and security, Squarespace gets an 8. Now, there's no free plan, but they do offer a free trial. After that, plans range from $16 to $50 a month. The best way to check their features is to click below here and open this table. The core and marketing features are quite basic things that you can get on other platforms for free using plugins. Their advanced e-commerce plan has some good features that can help you grow, like merchandising allows you to display related products, show low stock alerts, you can target abandoned carts with automated emails, and so on. But are these plans worth it when Wix, Shopify, or WordPress can get you similar or even more features for lesser cost. So Squarespace gets a 6 out of 10 for cost. Overall, Squarespace scores 37, which is a B plus, not bad, and just behind Wix. Next, we have Webflow. I'm going to save you some time. Webflow is like a Formula 1 car. It's great for web design experts, but for everyone else, it's really tough to figure out. The website builder is complicated, and even the pricing is a bit confusing. Just think about it. Would you be able to do everyday tasks like dropping off the kids, going grocery shopping and all that in a Formula 1 car? That's how Webflow is meant for a particular type of expert. And for mostly everyone else, one of the other website builders mentioned in this video are a better choice. Here's a table with Webflow scores and let's move on to the next platform. Shopify is like a high-tech delivery van, full of features to make it great for transporting goods. So for e-commerce, it's great. But for any other type of site, it's not the most efficient or cost-effective choice. Shopify is arguably the best platform when it comes to building an online store because it has many powerful e-commerce features. There are some places where WordPress's WooCommerce plugin beats it, and I've made an entire review video above, but it's definitely the first or second option for most online stores. If you want to build any website that's not an online store using Shopify, it's like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Sure, you can create blogs or portfolio pages on Shopify, but you quickly find that it has very limited plugins and templates, and it drastically lacks the customizability that you'd get from other platforms. The pricing plans are also designed for sellers and may not offer enough value for those needing a basic website. Here's a table with its scores, but if you still want a Shopify walkthrough, comment below. Are you ready? Are you ready for the final scores? In 60 seconds, I'll help you choose the best platform for you. You should pick GoDaddy if you're looking for a quick and basic website that doesn't need to have good design and functional features like taking bookings, selling stuff, etc. Squarespace focuses on aesthetics and design, but it's not the most versatile in features. So it's good for portfolio websites and visual websites, but not for e-commerce and other business websites. Webflow is a great tool for design experts and businesses that need fully customized designs that they're ready to pay well for. But for most other people and businesses, it's too complicated and expensive to use. Wix is a good balance between decent customization and ease of use. So it's good for beginners who don't want high customization of features. But if you know that your website today or in future would need to sell different types of products or have unique design or specific features for your type of business, then WordPress is still the best option because it's the most customizable platform with the biggest free library of plugins and themes. The only con is that you'll have to spend a couple of hours to understand the basics of the platform. Shopify has limited templates and plugins that are specialized for e-commerce, so beginners wanting a store should use it, but overall, it's not as customizable as Wix or WordPress.